Hi, Andy Nelson. So you see a lot of products um, or advertising material, anything, and you see that circled R, and then sometimes you see that circled C, and I'm wondering if any of you have ever seen a circled P before. I'll talk about that one in some other video, but circle R's and circle C's you see a lot. Circle R means that someone has a registered trademark. Circle C means that someone is claiming copyright. They may not have a registered copyright, but they don't need that to use the circle C. Use the circle C typically with the year um, and then the copyright owner, um, and that's okay. You don't have to have a registration to put the circle C. Circle R, you gotta have a federal trademark registration. But what I wanna talk about is using those things correctly. Now, I just mentioned when you can use them just a moment ago, but I will say a lot of companies get them wrong, even sophisticated companies. Now, I pulled this out of my old Foot Locker. Um, this right here is a wallet, <laughs> you know, and I don't remember when I had this. I'm not, I hope it was like high school or something like that. It might have been maybe in my later years in the army or something. I don't remember. Um, but for whatever reason, I saved it. Maybe I never used it because it looks like it's in good shape. So maybe I bought it thinking I was going to use it. Never did. But hey, you know, this is a brand that's around today, Maui and Sons. Um, and interestingly enough, this has got to be a good 25 years old. Um, company like that I thought was a big company back then they get it wrong they got it wrong and why because you look right here Maui and Sons across the back has a circle C right next to it copyright we're claiming copyright protection well you can't claim copyright protection for Maui and Sons just those words there's no, no copyright protection for anything that short even given that or even given the fact that it's got some style to it um, the font stylized, there's just no copyright protection for that. Trademark protection, absolutely. Maui & Sons points to a brand that we know. Um, and I imagine it's a registered trademark. I didn't look, but I'm sure it is. And so they would have been wise if they had at the time to put a circle R. Now, they did not have a registered trademark. They should have put at least a TM next to it to tell everybody, hey, this is a trademark of ours. So don't have uh, Oahu & Sons wallets and things like that, you know, or, you know, something similar like that. Now, if I open this thing up, uh, I also have the Maui and Sons logo. So a lot of people have seen this before. Now, this has something stitched right there. And quite frankly, it is so small, it's hard to tell what it is. I think it's a circle R. Um, but it could potentially be a circle C. Why? Because even though it's a logo and it functions as a trademark, it's definitely a symbol of the brand. Um, it's also graphic art. Okay, Now, there's not a lot there, but it's still it's graphic art. Um, and so there could be, and probably is, some copyright protection for that as well, as graphic art and also uh, the trademark protection because it does symbolize the brand. Um, and there's more material on here, right here on the outside, this, whoa, there we go, um, more graphic art. There's no notice of copyright. That's fine. It doesn't have to have it. They probably could have done that because this too is graphic art, likely owned by the company. Um, so if they wanted to tell people, uh, hey, by the way, we have a copyright on this artwork, so don't think about using it or adapting it uh, to anything similar, uh, they might have been wise to do so, but sometimes it's not aesthetically pleasing, and I get that. But at any rate, the point was, you want to know how to use these symbols correctly and when you can use them. Um, when you don't use them correctly, it causes some confusion, um, and right now I'm kind of confused about why someone put a circle C next to Maui and Sons. That's just the, the wrong place to put it because there's no copyright protection for the name. Trademark protection, yes, but not copyright protection. Anyway, if you have questions about this video, uh, please feel free to shoot me a note or drop a comment. Um, and if you think somebody would benefit from the contents of this video, please share it. Uh, until the next one, have a good one. Bye-bye.